This is St. James Church in Toxteth in Liverpool. It's a Grade II listed building which opened in 1775. Across the road we can see the Anglican Cathedral. Work on this building began in 1904. So we can see there's a huge time difference in the two buildings. So we'll take a short walk from St. James Church across Parliament Street to take a look at the Anglican Cathedral. This is one of two entrances into St. James Gardens. So we're going to take a walk under the arch and see what we find. The reason this area is so far below ground level is because it used to be a quarry. When all the rock had been used up, it became a cemetery in 1829, attached to St. James Church. So this was once known as St. James Cemetery. People were buried here right up until 1936. During its time as a cemetery, almost 58,000 people were buried here. During the 1960s, plans were made to turn this space into a public garden. Many of the gravestones were removed, and in 1972, St. James Gardens opened. The Huskisson Memorial is dedicated to William Huskisson, who was a Member of Parliament for Liverpool. He's also famous for being fatally injured by Robert Stevenson's locomotive, the Rocket. These wide ramps were used to transport dead bodies down into the cemetery from Hope Street above. We're now at the other end of St. James Gardens from where we entered. We're heading towards the oratory. As you can see, trees are still covering the Anglican Cathedral. It makes it very difficult to photograph the building in summer. This is probably one of the better vantage points to view and photograph the Anglican during summer months. Even the oratory is hidden by trees. I spent my first three years living in a house in Home Street. I wonder if it was named after this guy. These are the last days of summer. Soon the trees will start to change colour. And during the autumn, especially as we get into October, the colours in this garden are absolutely amazing. And if you come in the winter time, when the trees have no, no leaves, you can get some absolutely amazing, moody photographs. It's been very windy today. Apologies for the noisy microphone. We plan to return later in the autumn to take some photographs and we'll make a short film when we do. So thank you very much for watching and we'll catch up soon.